Day two saw us continuing up the coast past Santa Cruz to Bonnie Dune Beach, immersing ourselves in the natural beauty of the area. Lunch that day was at Sam's Chowder House, a popular stop in Half Moon Bay with terrific food and great views. Then it was on to San Francisco. And across the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. To arrive finally in Sonoma's Healdsburg, where we met with Susie Selby of Selby Wines. Susie has continued the vision of this winery that she began with her father. Her wines have been served to four different administrations in the White House. Well, one interesting thing, I'm gonna tell you the one story people like to hear about, is that uh, when one visits the tasting room, you'll notice a lot of White House menus. And the first menu was from the Clintons, and I have quite a few from the Bushes and the Obamas. And it's, it's sort of a fun story. I was um, on my way to a trip to Baltimore and called the White House to thank them for their support. And really, I had like, it was a moment of like low morale. I hadn't been invited to a party or something silly and I just wanted to feel good. So I called the White House and they answered and I asked for the usher's office and they said, um, Escher's office, I said, my name's Susie Selby, and I just want to thank you for your support. And they said, oh, Susie, I know you. I've been meaning to ask you if you'd like a tour of the White House. And I was, believe me, like, I started sweating. I was on this flight. This flight had this mechanical problem. And, and so, you know, are, are you coming to Washington? Are you free Thursday afternoon? And so I was, and I went, and... Um, you know, even got through Homeland Security, even though I drank underage once when I was in North Carolina. So they said that wasn't a problem. And after he gave me this tour of the White House, his name was uh, Daniel Shanks. I said, do you always do this for winemakers? This just means so much to me. And, and I had never really known why the White House liked my wine so much. And he said, you know, at the time, it was when the Bushes were in office. He said, whatever, 12 years ago, I walked into the taste room at Rabbit Ridge, I was by myself, and uh, you asked me what I was doing in wine country. And my response was that I had just gotten my dream job in food and beverage. And I said, well, come back, I'm the assistant winemaker and I'd love to teach you about wines, because we make so many wines. And he said, you came back and we spent two hours together and you were climbing around bar barrels and teaching me and doing all these things. And he said, but the most important part of all of it is uh, you never asked me what the job was. Like you were so passionate about it that that's all you cared about. And so I do remember when he ordered wines the first time, I thought a friend was playing a joke on me and I hung up on him. <laughs> so but, so he, he ordered it, he got hired by the Clintons and um, you know, the Bushes drank a lot of Chardonnay and actually the uh, Sauvignon Blanc was Michelle Obama's sort of housewife. So, so interesting people have enjoyed it. That's so, fantastic. But it's just a fun story. And I, I, I like to tell people that story because especially young people, I don't like the concept that, you know, be nice because you don't know who you're talking to. Be nice because it's the right thing to do. And maybe it will come back to you someday. And it, it did for me, so it's, it's a pretty good story. That's fantastic. Our day finished with a drive through the beautiful and windy 
Mayakama Mountains. Watch for all the details on all the amazing places and wineries we visited coming soon to Crush Grape Chronicles.